My name is Brian Hillman Jr. and you're watching Dre41 Gaming. Now I'm a little partial to this gaming channel because 41 is my magic number. It was my number in football and it was my father's football number. So you can bet that Brian Pillman Jr. is going to be tuning in to Dre41 Gaming only on YouTube. Hello everyone, this is Drake41 and welcome to PWR Rivals, the very best in professional wrestling and we got a great night of action here tonight. And here we go with tag team the following action. Contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Hagerstown, Maryland, Paige Oh yeah, it is about to go down here. Paige Andrews is going to be in the opening contest here in the tag team action with Andy Jaden. And they are going to be going up against Jade and Sonya. Very, very intriguing matchup we have here tonight in the opening contest. Big tag team matches, uh, matches in PWR here tonight. But the, the biggest thing is, is I'm, I'm thinking that Gabe Williams might just open up the women's tag team division. That just might become a thing. I'm not sure yet. We shall see. It might be for the next season. I'm not 100% sure, but, but we'll see. Paige Andrews is definitely interested in getting some gold, I can guarantee you that. Um, she has been in PWR for a couple of years now. She had championship opportunities, wasn't able to get the job done at that time but it's all a learning experience and I think she can Andy get herself Parker back and from Raleigh, that North Carolina Andy Jaden. and this lady here definitely knows how to get her wins um, definitely been making an impact here in PWR has not been able to get a championship opportunity as of yet but I definitely feel like she has what it takes to, to be that mainstay here in PWR we're going to see in this midseason, is she going to be able to show what she got to be able to move up the ranks in the women's division? Definitely a stacked women's division here in PWR, and I'm very intrigued to see uh, what these women bring to the table here in this midseason. Now, with these two women already in the ring, we're waiting for their opponents, and this lady here, ready for all types of problems. She is the first lady of Eagle Time. Now, with, with Jade in PWR, we haven't really seen her step up yet. We haven't seen her have that breakout win streak in PWR. I'm definitely interested to see if she's able to get that going now. She's teaming up with Sonya Gray. Sonya Gray is a former multiple-time PWR Women's Champion. So, it's, I think it's safe to say that she's in good hands with Sonya Gray. And Sonya Gray kind of, I guess, coaching her to get to the point of being a, a champion. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what happens with this matchup here. You, I mean, I did it last week. I guess I'll do it this week. If I was a betting man, <laughs> I can't bet against a former champion. So yeah, this lady here wins gold uh, on a regular basis. So I can't bet against her. I'm sorry. From I can't Miami, Florida, Sonya so yes, Sonya Gray making her way to the ring. 
former PWR Women's Champion, and uh, if she has it her way, definitely want to uh, get that championship run back and that championship around her waist. Uh, this 305 baddie could be a 304. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop. Let me stop. I, it was there. I had to. I didn't have a choice. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> Sonya Gray definitely uh, can bring the fight to any competitor in the PWR. She's had successful title runs um, in the company. Definitely want to see if she's able to, to get the title back. See if that can happen. I mean, I don't know. Victoria is probably not interested in no one else having the championship, which is completely understandable. Uh, but nonetheless, Sonya Gray, definitely a mainstay here in PWR. Definitely has a bright future in the world of professional wrestling. Want to see what else she can do in this business and, uh, you know, if she can uh, rack up some wins and get the gold again. But Paige Andrews is going to start this one off going up against Jade. Let's see what happens in this matchup. Referee calls for the bell. Let's get it. Both women taking their time, getting in the middle of the ring, go behind by Jade. Big forearm shot. Irish whip brings her back in. Big shoulder block. Now, even though Jade does have a little bit of power, as she did show off, she can definitely uh, go high risk if need be. And look at this already. I've spoken into existence. Going for the standing move. So, referee for the count one. Just the one count. Looked like Paige Andrews able to kick out of that one easily. And now back up to her feet. Big super kick to the face. And Jade is not playing around. High risk maneuver. And wait a minute, going up top. What does this look like? A move. So big move there. Big move there by Jade. And now getting her back up to her feet here. And now she is fired up. All oh, but Paige Andrews not trying to hear none of that. Dumps her down. Big clothesline to the side of the head. Now going for the penitent referee for the count. One, two, three. Wow, Sonya Gray was not able to break it up in time. Here and Paige Andrews and Andy Jaden with a easy victory here in the opening contest of PWR Rivals. Wow. Don't know what to say about that one. And in the next contest, we have one-on-one -on -one action that has stemmed from a tag team competition that we've seen on the previous the following week. The contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Darius Butler from Ohio, weighing in at 242 pounds. Now, a, a little bit of a discrepancy from last week, if you can say. Um, in the tag team match, it looked like it was a little bit of a, of a snap food. Snack food? That's what you say? Is that a word? That's fine. We're going we're gonna to add it. We're going to add it into a lexicon of English. A snap food. It is a word. I'm bugging. But uh, Hawk and Butler got a little bit of a sus victory against the Blood Eye Mafia. Now it seems to be a, a situation while Spaz the Visionary wants a one-on-one -on -one match against Hawk here tonight. I'm very intrigued to see what happens here because the, the main thing to think about in this type of matchup is both of these teams are used to just being tag teams. They're not really in the realm of being one-on-one -on -one competitors. From Houston, Texas, weighing in at 225 pounds. Now, Spaz definitely stepped out the box on this one to get this challenge. And you got to give him mad props for that one. Mainly because it's, I see a discrepancy, I got to fix it. You might have beaten us in the tag team tournament. But I'm going to have to get my revenge in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. So let, let's see what these uh, two tag team members can bring to the table in a one-on-one -on -one contest here in PWR. Now, it's not a secret. We've seen tag teams here in PWR step out into singles competitors and become great singles competitors. Perfect example is Byron X. He was part of the legendary British Lanterns and then became the cruiser great of PW... I was about to say of PWR. Of wrestling in general. And look at that big springboard kick there by Spaz the Visionary going for the penitent. Oh, just the two... Oh, one count, sorry. Just the one count. Hawk able to kick out of that predicament. And both of these teams were in black and red. I think I might have to change that. Well, for Butler and Hawk. 
Raymond try to go high risk. Double, well, not double axe handed just a, I guess a forearm to the back there. But Hawk with a fireman carry reversal. Big reversal there. And now Hawk in the driver's seat with a big elbow to the small of the back. And Spaz is feeling that one. And he felt he wanted to do that again. Inflict more pain on some tools upon him. Words. And now might go full head of steam. Big clothesline in the corner. Taking down Spaz. And Spaz might be in trouble here. Now was this Irish whip to the other side of the ring. Big head of steam. Oh, wait a minute. Combination. Big clothesline again. And Hawk is putting in work right now. He's showing that I can beat you in a tag team and a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Big running power slam a la British Bulldog. It's bad back in the driver's seat. Not too long. Elbows to the gut. And Hawk wanting to get a singles victory. Adding in with the tag team victory. Trying to go for a back elbow. No goal in that one. Spaz with the elbow on the top of the head. And now Spaz taunting a little bit. Wait a minute. I think he's getting a little bit distracted by Butler on the outside of the ring. And uh, that gives Hawk the ability to get back to his feet in a zigzag. Taking down Spaz. And now working on his opponent here. And the important thing you got to think about here is that the Blood Eye Mafia has more to lose than uh, Hawk and Butler here. Wait a minute, going for the pen, just a two count. Able to kick out of that one right there. And Hawk is fired up, but yeah, with a Blood Eye Mafia making their way to PWR here, they have a lot to prove and a lot to gain here with the victory. Once again, uh, they're out of the tag team tournament, but I mean, a win here would definitely help them uh, get a possible tag team rematch against Butler and Hawk, especially if Butler and Hawk potentially win the tag team titles. Big drop from outside. I mean, that right there is a, a great matchup to see again. And now, Spaz going in on the outside of the ring. Big European uppercut. Wait a minute, Kevin by Hawk. No selling on that one. Trying to throw him into the steel steps. No going in that one as well. Referee at the count of three. They have to the count of 20 to get back into the ring here so they definitely have some time if they want to brawl out from outside and wait a minute butler getting a little bit frisky there gonna hold off now Murphy had the count of six spaz is taking his time wait a minute crossbody and he sidestepped him a la samoa joe <laughs> and we got Stu on the outside of the ring keeping an eye on it pun intended and now what is he going to do here? Spaz back into the ring. And oh, catching a clothesline. What, what the hell? He threw a football in the ring? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Why, why is there a football in the ring? Oh, and a stomp right to the leg there. He tried to go for a stomp again. Spaz not trying to hear that one. And now, oh. Looks like he tried to go for a cutter and caught an elbow instead. And now he's trying to get back to his feet. Roll out. Into a cutter again. And going for the pin attempt, referee for the count. One, two, three. Spaz the Visionary with the victory here, defeating Hawk. Getting a little bit of revenge here tonight on PWR Rivals. And these two men are definitely appreciative of that win here tonight. Congratulations to Spaz the Visionary. And up next, already in the ring, we have Lauren and uh, Victoria, but we also have Casey walking around ringside here. Very, very interesting. Last week, they had a little bit of a brawl on the stage, and now it looks like Casey wants to keep an eye on Victoria. The reason why this matchup is happening anyway is because Victoria attacked Lauren after her match with Casey. And I think Victoria's just pissed off with everybody because Casey defeated her in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And right now, Victoria putting in work and Lauren is in a little bit of trouble. She doesn't want to take two losses in a row, so uh, we'll see what happens with this. And right now, Victoria is just putting hands on her opponent. She is beating fire out of Lauren. Right now, just, oh my goodness, just teeing off against her. She needs to do something. She needs to fight back. For real. And with Casey being ringside, I think that like put the battery in the back of Victoria to really show what she's made of and 
really the reason why she is the PWR Women's Champion. Now just the boots to the face here. She's going all in against Lauren. Big right hand turned her around here. Wait a minute, half Nelson. Good reversal. Okay, she's alive. I thought she was just playing dead. So, now combinations. Big right hand. Now going in for the kill right now. Combinations, but a big reversal there by Victoria. Big right hand. And now trying to put her to sleep, sleep. But wait a minute. Breaking out into a back and forth. Right and left hands there. And Victoria getting the advantage. And Victoria on fire. Wait a minute. Casey in the ring. Big clothesline taking down Victoria. And the referee is calling this one. Come on. Lauren couldn't even get a revenge here. What is this? And speaking of all-out brawls here, we got Grimm and Ken Washington backstage here going at it on PWR Rivals Northern Light Suplex. And man, with a danger zone this weekend, oh uh, man, do you think these two men want to take each other out here tonight? Don't even want to make it to the pay-per-view. Ken Washington's going to be defending that PWR BMF Championship against Grimm the Terror Clown. And damn it, they might take this fight into the elevator. And then single leg. And what is he, a spinning toe hold? Wow, he's channeling his inner Terry Funk here tonight on Rivals. I don't think he's going to get a submission backstage, but these two men have had problems over the past month here in PWR. And you got to think Ken Washington wants to get rid of Grim the Terror Clown. And Grim, vice versa, wants to get rid of Ken Washington. Big belly to belly on the Eating there and that has to hurt extra bad oh it just sat on Washington Grim is of a different breed man these two men are gonna fight forever and up next we have tag team action for the tag team tournament here in PWR and ego powers are making their way to the ring the following is a tag team championship yeah yeah it's about to go down here the way to the ring. we got go Stephen Hill four, we got Rick Richards two former PWR world champions in action here tonight man I want to see what's going to happen here man it is about to go down here ego powers and ego powers is being a little bit busy here on PWR Rock Rivals. We just seen Ken Washington backstage brawling. We got the Ego Powers, uh, well, two members of the Ego Powers here tonight in tag team action. And then in the main event, we got Showtime going up against Tenacious D. Big, big things going on here with Ego Powers here tonight. I'm very intrigued to see what happens. And also, they're going up against Gladiators of America. And also, Chris Barito is in action later on tonight as well so big big things here on PWR Rivals jam-packed show definitely stay tuned for everything we got going here in PWR a tremendous show we've already had and we got so much more to go and Ego Power is already in the ring waiting for their opponents the Gladiators of America and they definitely I think, honestly, the team that needs the win here tonight, Gladiators of America. I feel like they definitely need a win because, to be completely honest, don't get me wrong, they definitely made an impact here in PWR, but I think that they need to show that they're not a, just a faction with Chris Breida. I feel like they need to also show that they are worthy competitors in the tag team division now they're going up against a, a team right now who one member is is well versed in tag team stefan hill former multiple time tag team champion but rick richards from my knowledge i have not seen him in many tag team matches or going for tag team gold he's more of a singles competitor. so is this a thrown together team no because this is ego powers but I would say long for a team that's been together longer, I gotta give it to Blade and Tank. I have to, I'm sorry, that's just I have to. But nonetheless, fans are on their feet. They are ready to see this tag team action. Uh Rick Richard starting this one off against Blade here tonight. 
But what is about to go down? Referee calls for the bell. Let's get it. Both men taking their time here. Collar and elbow tie up. Look at this. Picks him up. Look at the strength game there by Blade just lifting the former PWR World Heavyweight Champion right over him. And now Tank getting called in. Big shoulder block there. Tank not playing around. And now throwing the boots to the back of the former champion. Going for the pen attempt here. Early goings of the matchup. Just a two count, which I'm very surprised about. I did not think a two count was going to go down this early in the matchup here. But nonetheless, Irish went into the corner and Gladiator's territory. Now not a tag being made, but a big deal just throwing Rick Richards around here. Now go behind. Big German suplex. And now Tank might tag out to Blade here. Yup, that seems to be the case. Quick and precise tags here. Always staying fresh for the most part. And, and I think, you know what, Chris Burrito, uh, I think he definitely hyped up his team, gave him a prep talk, and got them ready for this opportunity here. I mean, to get a victory in this tag team tournament and another German suplex to Rick Richards. Damn, they are going all out here. Now look at this, the Maverick. Big knee right to the jaw. Now he got some fighting. And now Rick Richards, what is this here? Picks him up, dumps him down with a DDT, implant DDT. And now the Maverick going in right now. What's this gut wrench? Picks him up into a power bomb, just drilling his opponent into the ring. And he is fired up, but the Maverick has to pay attention. But 2K with these tag team matches, I, the hot tag is so broken. I'm sorry, it just really is. But he didn't go for it because it took him too long to get himself over to his partner. But wait a minute, look at this power game again, just throwing Rick Richards around. Now, got him hooked up here, elbow to the top of the head. Great vine, the legs around the neck, pause. And now the Maverick trying to go for a tag here and gets it with Stephen Hill. And Hill, I don't know what he's doing right here. Big jab. All right. Throwing for those punches here. Look at this combination. Big uppercut. Stephen Hill putting in that work right now. And once again, the, the hot tag is... I don't get it. Oh, Luthes into those punches. Referee, thank you for being in the way. And now, Stephen Hill might be in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, boot right to the face. Another boot to the face. Now Hill is getting worked on here, picks him up, and just throws him across the ring. And man, the Gladiators of America are teeing off against Ego Powers right now. I mean, Hill back up to his feet, but that didn't do anything. Inverted atomic drop, picks him up again, back to back atomic drops. Sheesh. Stephen Hill is getting worked on right now. And I don't know, man. Ego powers aren't looking so great right now in this matchup. Wait a minute. It's my spine on the pine. Big spine buster there by Stephen Hill. And now picking up his opponent here. What is he going to go for? Irish whip into the corner. Not doing much right here just yet. Kick to the gut. Going up top here. Into a sunset flip. Not so much a power bomb. Could have went for the pin, but could have went for the pin combination off the sunset flip, but you know, nonetheless. And uh, we are going to have more PWR rivals after this important message from uh, our sponsors, Dre41 Gaming, which is it's me. So important, an important message. Wait a minute, going for the penitent tier referee for the count. And just a one count here. But yes, definitely stay tuned. This important message from Drake 41 Game.
here in PWR. PWR rivals, wait a minute, roll through into a stunner. Big move there by the Maverick, going for the pin attempt, rushing for the count, one, two, just a two count. And Blades able to break that one up, almost a three count there, springboard, moonsault. Big, big moonsault there, and going for the pin attempt, rushing for the count, and oh, Tank able to kick out there. And now Rick Richards picking him back up here. I think another stunner will finish this match up easily. And now going for the tag here, getting Stephen Hill back into this matchup. Big right hand. Now what is Hill going to do here? Probably high impact move. Wait a minute. Talk about a stutter. He caught a cutter. Going for the pin. Referee for the count. One, two, boom. Almost a three count. 2.8, maybe 2.75 on that. And now Hill off the ropes here. Big move right to the face. A tank and he might be in a little bit of trouble here. Now what's gonna happen, Stephen Hill? I mean, he wants to go up top here? I don't know. I mean, honestly, with the background in boxing, why even go high risk? Stick to what works here, and I don't know. Uh, Stephen Hill does whatever he wants. He's a former world champion. He does what he wants. Uh, I mean, he, he had a great rivalry years ago with uh, Patrick Rage for the television championship. I would say probably the best rivalry for the television championship, the defunct television championship in PWR. But nonetheless, great, great history with that championship and challengers and champions. Now, Hill with another knee to the face. Now Tank might be a little bit pissed off. Got right back up, but a snapmare takeover. Off the ropes here. Big clothesline to the side of the head. And Hill is on fire right now. He know what he's trying to do. He's trying to get W. Now another Irish whip in the Ego Powers territory. Got that big move here. Throws his face right into the turnbuckle. And now Hill gotta find a way to put this match in Ego Powers right where it wants to be. Another sunset flip with no pin attempt. I, I, I feel like that's a mistake here. But wait a minute, big clothesline. Blade taken down Hill here. And now trying to get back up to his feet. Oh, club to the back. And now Blade going after Rick Richards with a drop kick to the, to the floor. And now in this ring board, cross body on the outside of the ring. And Hill is filling that one. And damn it, he needs to do something, honestly, because Ego Powers are not faring too well against the Gladiators of America here. Definitely want to see a great matchup, but uh, Ego Powers looking like they need some help. And an overhead, belly to belly, just throwing him around on the outside of the ring. I'm telling you, the Gladiators of America are going in right now. Wait a minute, going after Rick Richards, too. Well, they're not wasting no time. They know what they're trying to do. Now, Rick Richards putting in that work against Blade here. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Pump handle. Pump handle into a power slam. Oh, wait a minute, Hill putting that work on the other side. Look at Eagle Powers working together here. I like this. This is what I like to see. I'm, you know, I'm impartial. Being impartial, both teams are putting in work. Now, Hill waiting for Blade to get to his feet. And it might be a two-on-one situation here. Hill is fired up. He wants to get this match behind him, get a victory here, and move on to the next round. Well, both teams definitely want to do that. And now at the count of six here, and Hill just throwing Blade around on the outside of the ring. And listen, it's not uh, it's not above Ego Powers to go for a count out victory. It's definitely not. They will take a count out victory if needed. Oh, big drop kick to the outside. And it might not be the case here tonight. Hill going outside the ring, breaking up the 10 count, and now a little bit of back and forth between the two. And now Blade getting into the ring here, and oh, big right hand. And what is this? Damn, a flipping kill switch. Going for the pin attempt, rushing for the count, and not even a one. Rick Richards able to break that one up easily. But wait a minute, problems here. Stephen Hill might be in trouble. Roll through into a Boston Crab here. That looks like rope break. That, that is rope break. Clear rope break. The referee does not see it and he'll tap out. Wow. I did not expect that. 
Oh man, Gabe Williams might have to fix this one. That is a rough one. And up next, already in the ring, we got Fernando G. And he is going up against the PWR, international champion. Oh, man. He runs this division. Big Chris Spirito. This man here made a name for himself last season on PWR. And he wants to continue to do that here. From Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 262 pounds, the Pro Wrestling International Champion, Big Chris Spirits. I'm going to give Chris Burrito a bunch of props. He came in last season with the Gladiators of America. He knew exactly what he wanted to do, and he got the job done. I mean, Gladiators this this uh, this week, big victory against Ego Powers. But he has been able to move up the ranks and win the International Championship last season, defeating the Legend D. And with uh, with a Danger Zone, literally this weekend, he doesn't even have a challenger. He literally doesn't have a challenger. So I don't even know if he's going to defend his championship this week. I'm not even sure if he's going to do that. I would be surprised if he does. But, I mean, the way Chris Burrito is, his whole thing is keeping the championship in America. That Literally, that's it. So I'm, I'll be intrigued to see uh, what he'll do if he doesn't have a challenger here for the international championship. Wait a minute. Chris Brito picking up Fernando and dumping him down with a kneeling uh, muscle buster there. And you got to think the power game. Oh, into a cutter. The power game and, and probably even the speed game might go to Chris Brito here, to be completely honest. And now big right hand. Go behind. Wait a minute. Picks him up. Dumps him over. Yeah, Chris Brito is not playing right now. Look at this disrespect. Just laughing. At his opponent here. Oh, big knife has chop. Now picking him back up here. Irish whip over the ropes and out the ring. Fernando is getting worked on. I, honestly, I don't, I don't see Fernando really putting up much of a challenge in this matchup. Just gonna be honest. I, I just don't see him putting him up, uh, putting up much of a challenge. But uh, he'll, he'll do the best he can. <laughs> honestly, that's it. And now look at this. Oh my God. It's done. It's done. It's done. That's it. That's it. What, what else are we doing? What else are we doing? Chris Burrito is just showing off now. He's just showing off. Like, I don't know what else can be done here. I, I really don't. But Chris Burrito won. Off of that big move right there. Off of that. Just over the moon stunner. Literally. Like, who, who's going to come back from that? You could leave him outside the ring. He's done. That's it. Chris Burrito knows he won right then and there. Fernando is done. <laughs> like, he's done. That's it. I mean, my goodness. Oh, wait a minute. He got some life in him. All right. Okay, Fernando. Fight back. Fight back. I like that. Yeah, do your thing. Chris Burrito got a, you know, you can't just have an easy matchup here. Come on. What would that look like? And now, referee calling for Chris Burrito to get back into the ring here. He's taking his time. He's taking his time, but I think he knows what he's doing. Oh, spoke too soon. Look at this octopus stretch. And Chris Burrito might be in some trouble. Wait a minute, picks him up one hand on him. And drops him down. And now, wait a minute. Boozled, picks him up. Big Uranagi. Going for the pen. Referee for the count. One, two, three. Chris Burrito with the victory here tonight. Taking out Fernando. He had some fight. He had some fight, but it, it just didn't go the way he wanted at all. Chris Burrito with the easy victory here to... What the hell? What the hell's going on with the lights? Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Is who that... Is that who I think it is? That can't be. Oh, my goodness. That is the legend D.
and we are now in the main event of the evening. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from another time, weighing in at 206 pounds, tenacious. And yeah, it's about to go down. It is about to go. This is now. I was saying this last week, and I, I'm going to say the same thing this week. I feel like Tenacious D is one win away from really cementing himself in the main event picture. Last week in the tag team contest against Showtime and Jaden Shadow, he held his own. He definitely did his thing. I think tonight he really is going to have to step it up. And I feel like tonight is his night to prove to the world that he is a top tier athlete here in PWR. I feel like, now don't get me wrong, you know, like, he's had gold here in PWR, but I, it was for a short reign. But I feel like he can definitely step it up this midseason. I think he can do it. I think Tenacious D can do it here, and damn it, it's a tall task going up against Showtime. It's definitely a tall task. But I feel like this kid got it. I feel like he's ready. I feel with the tutelage from from Spike and also we just seen him, the legend D. I think he can do it. Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 241 pounds. And this man here, I feel like I, I don't know what his game plan is here. It's it, He's backing up a guy who, who defeated Spike, but he's not with Ego Powers, right? I, I'm, I'm a little bit confused where Showtime is, is going on with this. What, what's in his mind? What's his plans? Because he has that revolutionary opportunity briefcase. He has that Showtime championship opportunity. Wow. Um, but uh, here's the thing. I, it's, if it's not his goal to take that championship away from Spike, then what is it? To have Jaden take the championship? Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, I, I, I just don't understand where Showtime is coming from with taunting Spike with that briefcase. I just don't get it. And I guess Tenacious just disappeared for a little bit. It's fine. Referee calls for the bell. <laughs> Let's get it. And Showtime just standing there for a second. Okay. It snap suplex there. Wait a minute. Holding on. Might be a little bit of amigos going on here. Uh oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, three amigos there by by Tenacious D and a Pele kick taking Showtime down. Okay, Showtime needs to do something. He is getting worked on by Tenacious D right now. Big kick. Oh, wait a minute. Luthes. And now he's biting him? Wow, this kid is something else. He's putting him. Whoa, hey, yo, biting him on the neck. Ref, what are we doing? This is what we letting happen here on PWR? Come on. And now, wait a minute, what's this? Looking like he's about to work on the knee there. And now Showtime rolling out the ring. In a little bit of trouble, I think. Springboard crossbody to the outside, and Showtime is in trouble. Standing shooting star. He has not been able to get out of the starting blocks in this matchup here against Tenacious D at all. And now kick to the gut. X Factor on the outside of the ring. And Tenacious D is teeing off against Showtime. Man, he is putting in work right now. Oh, wait a minute. Going for a little bit of a weird move there. Trying to disrupt Showtime a bit. Now, wait a minute. Getting back into the ring here. Is he going to allow a count out against Showtime? I don't think Showtime's going to get counted out here. I doubt that. Yup. Spoke too soon. Now he is pissed. Showtime looking like he wants to get in the ring and tear him tear him apart. Now Showtime got him goozled here. Bringing him over to the corner. Face first. And now big right hands by Showtime. Putting him at work against Tenacious D. But I mean, to be honest, Tenacious was putting in work against Showtime. And look at this, one hand on him. One hand on him. Backbreaker by Showtime. Picks him back up. Walking him around the ring. And another back 
Breaker by Showtime going for the pin attempt. Referee for the count one, just a one count. Tenacious D able to kick out here and keep this match going as Spike has to be prepared for his one-on-one -on -one contest. Oh my goodness! Modified show closer going for the pin. Referee for the count two and no. What? Tenacious D able to kick out. But if you look into the outside of the ring, you got Jade and Shadow, you got Spike. They have a date with Destiny this weekend at PWR Danger Zone for the PWR World Heavyweight Championship. And now Showtime just slamming the back of Tenacious D's head. Oh, wait a minute. Try to go for the elbow there. No go on that one. Collar and elbow. Irish whip into the corner here. Oh, big slap. Oh, big kick to the head. Now double on the hook. Suplex. Combination moves there by Tenacious D. Going for the pin attempt. Referee for the count one. Oh, just the one count. Showtime able to kick out there. And now big stomp. And now Tenacious taking his time. Putting in that work and trying to get that victory here. Springboard. Oh, so on Showtime. Going for the pin attempt. Referee for the count one. Two. And no, just a two count. Showtime able to kick out of that predicament there, but it's looking like Tenacious D might have this one. Picks up Showtime here, and wait a minute, dropping him across the top rope here. Tenacious is going in right now against Showtime, showing him that he wants to be the man here in PWR, and man, he is definitely doing that here tonight. And referee at the count of two, once again, they have to the count of 20. They got time. Big kicks, combinations, picks him up and dumps him down. This kid is on a different level right now. What is he doing? He acting different. This is beyond me. And to, oh, wait a minute. It's been too soon. Elbows to the gut. Showtime still alive. Now, wait a minute. Picks him up. Falcon arrow on the outside of the ring. And that's concrete under that thin padding. So, uh... That padding didn't protect him very much, if any, at all. Now tosses him back into the ring. Showtime in the driver's seat. And wait a minute. Calling for him to get back up. Might be that modified show closer again. Got him hooked here. Wait a minute. Oh, elbow to the gut. Able to kick out the big right hand. Showtime there to stop him. And now got him goozled here. Up against the ropes. What is Showtime going to do here? Wait a minute. Throws him outside the ring. Showtime is not a guy to do high-risk maneuvers. What is this? Tries to go for a drop kick and no one. There, sidestep by Tenacious D. And now Showtime might be in some trouble. Oh, wait a minute. What's this slum dog? Millionaire, that stunner. Oh, my goodness. And I, I don't know. I don't know. X-Factor on the outside. Showtime is in trouble right now. I am telling you. Now wait a minute, we'll barrel him to a stunner. And Tenacious D is going in right now. He wants to show that he is, is he's deserving of a spot in the main event. German suplex. Showtime is in trouble. And now, getting back up here, with elbows to the gut. I mean, just when you think Tenacious D has that advantage, Showtime just shows that he is a main eventer, a true main eventer, and can change the, the momentum of the matchup at the spot of a dime. And now, oh, sling blade, go through, drop kick to the side of the head. And Tenacious D trying to do the same thing here, going for the pin attempt, referee for the count, two, no, Showtime able to kick out, and Tenacious thought he had it. And Spike on the ringside area, Watching very, very closely, wanting to see Tenacious D get that victory that he wants. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Showtime in a little bit of danger here. Wait a minute. Big knee. Picks up. Wait a minute. Picks him up. What's this? Into a cutter. Big move. This might be it. This might be it. Showtime might be done. Tenacious might get the victory here. Two and three. Wow. Tenacious D able to defeat Showtime here in the main event. And Spike is 
happy as hell that he's seen Tenacious D with the victory. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. We have Danger Zone this weekend. Definitely stay tuned, subscribe, and keep the notifications on. Other than that, catch you on the next episode. Later.